Hi. In this video, we're going to take a look at the program DP Animation Maker, which will take a static image and turn it into a video with motion using various animation effects. And what I have here is, is an image, a static image I've imported into DP Animation Maker. And to add animations, I'm going to come up here. And this video this isn't really a how-to or a tutorial. I'm just going to go over the features and show you some of the things that are available. And here we have all these options. And I'll go through some of them really quickly. And we can add a cloud and let's think and over here we can increase the count and we can increase the speed and there's attributes for each of the animations over in this right panel and we have a couple of cloud options and a preview will happen here I can add rain and it's hard to see here so uh, let's make it bigger so you can see it and we can change things like the angle and, and speed, that type of thing, color, and fog. Fog is really good. Um, it's a good application. Let me remove these two. And what I like to do sometimes is I might create a second layer. So there's two fogs. You'll notice fog here, fog here, and then maybe change the properties of each. I might make one a little bit faster than the other, change the size a little bit. And, this, and the fog will also use for smoke. And you can see here I've created a, a really simple but basic video using uh, the fog animation. And we, we've converted this from a static image into a video. And we can add lightning maybe. And you go there. I think this is pronounced bokeh. And we can add the bokeh again. We can change the color, that type of thing to give us, and that doesn't go well with this particular image, but other images it can be really a, a good effect to create a video. We have explosion, here's electrical discharge, you know, we have a couple of fire options, and again let me delete these and start over, and uh, we have light beams we could use, maybe we want to put it up here, make it a little bigger, another light beam, and this one I like. This this one matches really good. It's called Rays of Light. And let me remove the light beams. We can see here the Rays of Light. And I would just maybe move this here. And this here. And I could maybe move it up here a little bit. And let me move this. And move this over here. And this kind of looks like the sun is shining through. And again, this gives a nice little animation to a static image. And here's smoke, smoke one, smoke two. Sparkles. Let me add some sparkles. And you might not be able to see them. Let me make them bigger. But see, you could adjust these so they appear in a sky or something to give you like that twinkling star effect. And let me remove them. And again, we have bubbles. Let me make them bigger. And you can change the, the direction, that type of thing. These would be good for an underwater shot. Now remove them. And you have a couple of birds, like a dove, an eagle. This one is called Flight. And I add a tube, but let me make... Th and you might be able to see these birds flying here. Let me make them a little bigger. And you can see these are birds flying around. We come down here. Okay, here's some grass we can add. Okay, I'll double click that. And again, I can increase the count so there's more of them. I can increase the size. And let me do that by adding a number. Make it a little bigger. Let me make it f the speed so that it waves a little faster. And let's add a flower. We can do that here. And again, we can adjust this. And maybe let's add a monarch butterfly. And we could just account up or down. Maybe I just want one. And you'll see it here. And I can come over here and I can adjust where I want it to appear. See top would be zero. It could appear from the very top pixel down to 842, which is about the bottom of this image. But if I only wanted to appear in the bottom half, maybe I'd go 440. And see that's going to limit it to 440 pixels. pixels and so it's going to stay at the bottom. And here's some tropical fish. Obviously it doesn't go well with this particular image. 
and a goldfish let me increase the count of the goldfish so you can see them and what we have here is a, a couple of ghosts let me increase the number here see this is a friendly ghost here's a more spooky ghost and you can see the ghost fading in and out here we have magic dust which might come in handy sometimes a couple of options and now let me delete those keep this image and let me move this and you can see this is a pretty cool image we, we have the, the birds flying the rays of light shining in and, and the grass we, weaving I might come to the grass and, and make it smaller and we've turned the static image into this nice little video and let me come over here now let me show you something here we also have these animated brushes and all of these brushes here and let me tell you that from what I can tell pick animate is like one one brush that's it it gives you something like a motion brush here I'm not sure like maybe a radio wave brush where you can uh, oh maybe a wave brush would be more accurate I'm not sure it's like you get this one feature in pick animate whereas DP animation maker gives you all of these now I'm gonna change the background here come up here I'm gonna change the background and let me go to uh, this and I'll show you and let me remove the grass and the rays of light I'll remove and now what we have here are these uh, is a static image of these three balloons now let me go to use this maybe drift brush excuse me in English drift brush I'm gonna apply it and now I'm gonna use this brush and just really quickly I'm not gonna be precise I'm gonna then come down here and as you can see this balloon is now moving and this is a great way to again add animation to a static image and there's a lot more static images available to you than there are stock video clips now let me come down here let me see if I can find it here and there's a lot there's cloud brush there's more you know if you want to use a brush to fill in clouds and fire that type of thing but in this particular case here's a light brush and I'm gonna apply it to the light here and basically what it does is it blinks so whoops I didn't apply it correctly let me hit undo and apply animation and I'm gonna come over here to this I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna blink you can see it blinking let me make it bigger so it stands out more so you can see it better and I can adjust the uh, the speed here I can make it blink faster or slower but this gives the image and see now I have the balloons moving you know a nice little blinking light and I can create some waves to give this water motion and let me show you really quickly I'm gonna change the background again here let me put the shark in we come up here and here's some effects that are really quick and easy and this is like an underwater it's gonna give it a, a now let me delete the the drift brush and see we have the underwater and this one would be good to let's say put a couple a tropical fish or two in and I'm gonna increase them and we can see uh, the fish here maybe add a second number of fish increase them a little bit and we have the hammerhead let me remove all of these and I'm gonna change the background image again here's one you know I can and I want to change this to no effect and I could add some falling leaves again I can adjust those over here and let me move these come back up here and here's like a glass ball effect and I can adjust the glass ball I can adjust the size here I mean like a little globe effect let me change the background real quick again and I'm gonna find uh, we have this let me go I'm gonna 
little effect so you can see the image. Let me remove the leaves. And this effect here is a water mirror. And what it does is it, it takes the, uh, the image and kind of cuts it in half and then gives a reflection. And I could add that light, you know, the light effect that I showed you earlier. And I could make some of these blink and then they would blink here. And again, let me repeat. Not to be down on pick enemy, but it really just gives you one motion brush, which is pretty much what these warping brushes are. So, I mean, you get one feature with it, and then you have all these other features. I haven't even gone into them, like a sparkle airbrush. Like, here, see, I can add sparkles to the sky, you know, twinkling stars, that type of thing. I hope this has been helpful, and see you in the next video. Bye.